Hi guys, this is a basic uh, pH curve. So you have your B on the uh, Y axis, your H magnetic field strength on the X axis, and uh, always looks like this. It starts from zero, sort of flattens up uh, at this point, which is called saturation. Uh, pH curves will be unique for each material. So every magnetic material will have its own pH curve. This is a typical question on a pH curve. So you have your data, number of tons in coal, 600, length of coal, 1,000, cross-section area of coal, 500. And the question says calculate the current required to create a flux of 0 0.7 uh, milliweber. The first step will be to convert all your units to SI units. So from millimeters to meters, from millimeter square to meter square, from milliweber to weber. Uh, millimeter to meter is times by 10 to the power minus 3. Millimeter square to meter square is times by 10 to the power minus 6. And um, milliweber is 10 to the power minus 3. It's always milli 10 to 3, um, millimeter square 10 to 6. So please remember that. Now, step 1. Um, after converting, the thing we need to do is to uh, work out the flux density. So we have our flux, which is in Weber, and uh, we have our area, which is in um, a meter square. So our flux density is flux divided by area, uh, which will give us um, 1.4 Tesla. The next step is to find the H that corresponds to, to this uh, B on the graph. So on our graph we can see we have 1.4 Tesla for B and that is about, hold on, that's about up here. So 1.4 Tesla. So 1.4 Tesla on the graph and then we're sort of trying to work out what H corresponds to that. That's measured in amp meter once we found our h from the graph we know from the formula sheet that um, h is the number of tons times the current divided by the length of the coil uh, we need to rearrange that to get the current so if we cross multiply this so the l goes up and the n comes down so that will give us i current is H times L divided by N. Uh, and if we put our numbers in 200, uh, sorry, 2000 for the H, the magnetic field strength, uh, and the length is 1000 times 10 to the power minus 3. So multiply those two together. Actually, 1000 times 10 to the power minus 3 is just going to be 1. It's going to cancel out, but you can put in your calculators like that and divide it by the number of tons, which is 600. And if you pop down your calculator, you get 3.333 uh, amps, and that is your current. So, problem solved. Um, according to the BTEC marking scheme, if you've done this, you will get a, a mark of um, 1 for this calculation. You will get... Um, hold on. You will get uh, 1 mark for this. Another one mark for this, and then you get one mark for the calculation. So one mark for all this bit here, and you get one mark for the answer. So that is five marks. It's a lot of marks to to gain in a uh, in an exam. Another type of question that could possibly come out is um, to work the flux from a current. So given the current. I asked to walk the flux. So it sort of goes like this. So step one, um, find the um, magnetic field strength. So the magnetic field strength is the number of tons times the current divided by the length. This will be given, this formula will be given. And uh, that will be 6,000 times the current of 6.6 .6 divided by your length. And that will be uh, 3,960 amperes per meter. So 3960 will be around about here because reading your graph that's 200 uh, 
sorry, that's 2,000, 2,400, 2,800, uh, 3,200, 3,600, and 3,960 will be around about here. So you're around there, and that corresponds to about there. So you could take, you could take that. So as you can see, um, a magnetic field strength of 3,960 would be approximately 4,000, and uh, that will correspond to around about 1.6 uh, of flux density. So just to summarize, we have our H, which we've calculated as 3,960 amps per meter. Uh, we went to our graph, uh, we took the H on the, y, on the X axis, and uh, because we couldn't read 3960, we approximated it to 4000, and then we traced it up the graph, we got 1.6 Tesla. Now the formula that we have here is B, is B is the flux density, and the flux density is flux divided by area. So if we rearrange this, we bring the A up here, we cross multiply, we get flux density B times A is flux. So our flux density is 1.6. Our area, which we are given in the question, is 500 millimeters square, and that's why we put times 10 to the power minus 6. That converts it to meter square. If we put this in our calculator, we'll get 800 times 10 to the power minus 6 Weber. And anytime we see times 10 to the power minus 6, it's micro. So we can just replace it with micro. If we want to go a step further, we could take the decimal point from back here and we could do one, two, three. Move it three places and it goes from micro to milli. So 10 to the power minus 6 is the same as micro, 10 to the power minus 3 is the same as milli. So there's another video on how to convert milli, micro, nano and so on and so forth. So I hope this helps. Make up some more questions for yourself and good luck in your examination. Bye.